Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you a little secret. Now, we've all had these situations in chess where you have a good position and a big attack and there must be a checkmate there, but you can't quite find it. So, today I'm going to show you a little life hack. So all we have to do is pretend that it's our opponent's move and they have to move the king. Where could they go? Well, the only square right now is f8, seeing as the d-file is blocked by the rook. So we highlight the f8 square and we highlight the king's current square. And this gives us a nice visual that we can use to find checkmate much easier because once you have a visual of two squares like this, you will see how they are lined up, whether that's two squares, three squares, whatever. And here they're lined up on the same file, so if you can get to that file, it will be a checkmate. And in this case, we have queen h8. So after this move, it is a checkmate. So notice how we had many other possible checks, but instead of looking at all the checks, we just have a nice visual, which instantly points us to the right check. Let's see a second example. Second example, we're playing with the black pieces here and we uh, are looking to checkmate. The king is exposed and we have a lot of possible checks. So instead of going through them, calculating them, you do the technique, that a little uh, life hack. So pretend that it's the white king to move. The only square is f2. So you highlight that one and the king's current square. Oh, look, they're on the same diagonal. So as long as you can get to that diagonal somewhere, you should be able to checkmate. So queen e3 gets to the diagonal, but we're going to get captured. Is there any other moves? Yes, there is. Queen b6. Queen b6 is a checkmate in one move. Every other check is just a check and the game continues. For example, these two. They would, it would be a check, the king will slide over and the game continues. But queen b6 ends the game immediately. Even though the move is very far away, so it's on the other side of the board, so it's a bit counterintuitive to go further away from the king, but with this technique you will see it in seconds, which is very good. Uh, last example here, we're looking at example number three, we're playing with the white pieces, a ton of possible checks on this diagonal, this diagonal, but which one is checkmate? So let's see, black king to move, where could they go? Uh, here, here, here. And of course we always highlight the king's current square, and realize if we cover all of these it's going to be checkmate. Is there such a move? Yes there is, queen to b7, right there. That protects all of those squares, meaning it must be checkmate. And in fact, it is. Now, one thing I will warn you about is the exception to the rule. Now, this doesn't work 100% of the time, and I'm going to show you why. So here we have an exception. Uh, it looks like we should have checkmate. And let's try and do the technique. So, black king to move can only go here. And um, we highlight the king's current square. So it looks like as soon as we get on this file, it should be a checkmate. And we have three possible moves that do so. So if we just choose randomly, that's not a good way to go about it. So let's see this one. It's not a checkmate because they could go here. This one, it's not a checkmate because they could go here. Previously, that wasn't the case because the queen was protecting it. So that's something to be careful about. That's where the exception comes from. When you move a piece, it loses its purpose, usually. So here, the move is actually queen f7 that protects all of those three squares for checkmate. Hope you enjoyed it and keep crushing it.